Hey, this is Tim from Asley Dying, and you're watching RichardThinks.org. Hey everybody, this is Richard of RichardThinks.org. Today we are at the Monster Energy Outbreak Tour with Asking Alexandria, As I Lay Dying, Memphis May Fire, Icy Stars, and Attila. And I have Tim of As I Lay Dying with me here today. How are you doing today, brother? Doing good. Great. So how's the tour been going for you so far? Uh, so far it's good. You know, we're getting close to the end, so I think everybody's uh, missing home a little bit. But other than that, we're doing good. Good. You guys so you got your new album out, Awaken Now. You're supporting it right now. How's the reception been so far for the album? Uh, so far it's been great. I think the, uh, you know, every album we have, there's a few months it takes, you know, for people learning the songs. When we play them live, it has the same reaction as the rest of our catalog. But we're, uh, you know, we're, we're slowly introducing the new songs, and I think that the uh, the reviews, you know, have been good, and the uh, the sales have been good. So we're, we're on par with all of our previous records. I feel like that's a good thing considering how how down the music industry is uh, with, you know, record sales and, and support, you know, so, so it seems. All right, very cool. So let's warm up a little bit with some of this or that. So, touring internationally or touring the states? Uh, I prefer touring the states. Vinyl or MP3? Um, I think it's just more more uh, convenient to have MP3. <laughs> so, it's Warp Tour or Mayhem Fest? Uh, Mayhem, you know, to me, it's less chaotic. You know, one one band playing at a time for the most part. You know. Mm -hmm. All right. So, meaningful lyrics or a great instrumental? Uh, of course, meaningful lyrics, you know, I'm a lyricist, so I'm, yeah. I'm biased on that biased one. Biased on that one. So, in your own words, how does As I Lay Dying fit on this sort of bill? You guys are pretty much, you know, stick out, and yeah. everybody else here, you know, is just kind of different. How do you guys fit in on in this bill? Uh, you know, to us, it, you know, we, we recognize it's a diverse bill, and it's kind of got like a, a more sceney kind of like younger, you know, not traditional heavy music kind of sound to it. And... Uh, for us, you know, we just wanted to kind of to reach out to some of those those fans. A lot of those real young fans, you know, I think they're looking for for a lot of heavy stuff. And and uh, if they're you know finding out about bands like us, it's a gateway, you know, for them to be you know become metalheads. And you know, and it, it's not necessarily like a bad thing that uh, you know all, all the bands come from a more of a scene type background or, or whatever. You know, to us, we just want to be a metal band where the the band that stands out is kind of like the the more traditional metal sound on this tour but that's fine with us very cool i think you make a great point you know some bands you know they don't want to step out of their comfort zone and they want to be able to expand their fan base and i think that's great you know that you're you played mayhem fest and you know that's more of a heavy sound with slayer and slipknot and you know some bands just don't want to step outside and you know try to get new fans i think that's great what you guys are doing oh thanks yeah i agree <laughs> <laughs> on this record you guys went with bill stevenson for producer how did you guys go, you know how did it feel changing up producers because i know that you produced some, the, some of the previous albums and you had adam d of kill switch engaged uh, uh, produce some of your previous works yeah i mean for us we've always at least been the co-producer of every album even if it's adam or bill or anybody and so i, I think there's a certain element that's going to stay the same and and we, we ask for that outside producer to kind of stretch us or we're not necessarily you know try to push us in any weird direction but just provide an outside opinion that we wouldn't normally have and um, you know the more ideas being thrown around the, the the more challenged we are and Bill Bill comes from a background where his ideas to us are very credible mm -hmm. um, you know but they're but they're definitely uh, different than than our own being you know that he doesn't traditionally record metal but he's still very involved in underground music the biggest challenge for you guys coming into this record during the whole process and how did you guys overcome it as a unit yeah, i think for us uh bands when they get to their you know fifth sixth album um they've got like that choice to make where they can either try to really shake things up and do something experimental and and you know uh or or a lot of bands of our peers you know tried to like soften up and uh appeal more to like a, a radio friendly audience you know and uh, or th that's one direction is to, you know to kind of change things up a bit, or or we can fine tune what it is we've we've already done. And I feel like, for me, all my favorite bands growing up, you know, they didn't like, you know, th they they had their sound that they were well known for, and they didn't really like shake it up in a crazy way. They fine tuned it and became an, a better version of themselves. And that's what I think we decided to do with this record. And honestly, I can tell you that you guys did. I really yeah. loved it. Thank loved you. It a lot. We loved it a lot. Of all the songs, what songs took the longest to come together? Um. It's a good question. It's hard to remember at this point. I think. Do you want to look at it? Yeah. <laughs> got your little cheat sheet right here. Yeah, I know that uh, you know, tear out my eyes at one point almost got cut from the record, but then when we did vocals, we felt like it really became more uh, it had like an anthemy kind of feel to it, and so we, we, I think vocals in a way kind of saved what was a very mid-tempo song otherwise, and um, 
Uh, let's see. Uh, Wasted Words to me is one of my favorite tracks on the record, and it uh, it it had like three or four different arrangements before we actually settled on one, and uh, that, that we didn't actually settle on the final arrangement until like the day we were tracking drums, which was really cool. So it was kind of it's cool to see how one takes shape, you know. So well, sorry about that. <laughs> now you're good. So why why is that song your favorite on the album? Did it was did it just come from? Is it just more of a personal experience? Well, it's one of my favorites. I wouldn't necessarily... It's hard to always pick a favorite, but yeah. uh, it, it's one of my favorites specifically because I feel like it. it's just... It's in a different scale than, than the other songs on the record, and it, and it kind of has a different mood to it, mm -hmm. and uh, the style of... Uh, you know, it's, it's got this, like, chorus, but it's not really, like, a traditional-sounding type chorus for us, and so it's just just a little bit little bit different, but um, but still has that ag aggression and that, that thrashy element, you know, to it that... Uh, that you know, it gives it a lot of energy. How did you guys go about choosing the album artwork, and how does it correlate with the theme of the record? Uh, well, we felt like uh, after our 10th anniversary, coming out with an album titled "Awakened," that it was time to have a you know a different artist take a stab at the uh, you know that the whole Asla Dying theme prior to "Awakened" is, is all been done by Jake Bannon, mm -hmm. and uh, and I feel like all of our artwork looks very similar, which is a good thing. But it also marks like a certain chapter in the band, and we wanted to kind of have okay like. You know, here's a, here's a new chapter after after being a band for ten years. Mm -hmm. So we had um, uh, Val Noor at, at Metastasis, or uh, you know, he's uh, he's French, so mm -hmm. I always say everything wrong. <laughs> you know, but um, you know, he he had done some uh, some other artwork for bands that we, we felt like he'd, he'd done a great job. Uh, even within our own label, he'd done stuff for like Black Dahlia Murder, and mm -hmm. um, we just felt like he was a good artist and. And uh, if we gave him the album title and, and just kind of saw where he took it, and, and we gave him like very minimal direction other than the album title, and he, I think he really did a great job. I, and I also love how, you know, the lyrics videos I've seen, you know, like the, the, I want to call, is that a moth? Yeah, or the moth. The yeah. moth, it, it just flies around, you know, yeah. you know, and it correlates, you know, with Awaken, you know, it's flying, you know, you find your strength. I mean, that's what it says to me, at least, yeah. that, you know, that, you know, you're flying, you're awakened inside i know that sounds no that sounds is. pretty straight to the point but it is yeah i mean there's that whole like moth that cocoons and then awakens you know as, as it's you know it's the, the full moth like that you know what i mean so yeah. it's like you know to, to us that's one of the things that's cool about working with an artist we really trust is that something as simple as, as an album title they can represent that in so many different ways and, and i think i think valnor did a great job very cool so what's 2013 have in store for as i lay dying uh, we're getting ready really soon to announce a, uh, a headlining tour, co-headlining tour, in, um, that leaves in February. So for you know, we felt like for all the people that that felt like we were the, the odd band out on this tour and weren't quite ready to to pay the ticket price to see us, you know, being that they might not like the other bands on the mm -hmm. tour, that, that we'll have we have a package for them that'll be going out that'll mm -hmm. be more of you know more suited to uh, a traditional Asla Dying fan, and then. Uh, um, and then just keep touring really i mean the album's fairly new to us yeah. so we're going to keep touring through the end of next summer and and just uh you know we, we won't be writing until that point any last words or thoughts um i think for for us you know being being that we're, we kind of stepped into like we were always the youngest band uh like this tour we're on you know we're a lot of bands younger than us and kind of considered like scene bands or whatever and we were we were that younger band for a lot of times touring with our peers, you know, whether it be In Flames or Cannibal Corpse or a lot of like, you know, more traditional uh, metal bands, and then eventually, I think we, you know, we found our uh, identity with our with our own fans, and they, they started to realize, okay, like this is this is a, a real band, you know, and, mm -hmm. and and after ten years, you know, to have that kind of diehard support and to kind of be in that next chapter of our lives is a, it's a good feeling. We appreciate the fans that have brought us all this distance, and and uh, you know, I'm glad that we can do diverse tours and try to create the cycle and, all over you again. know and gain more fans yeah. i respect that a lot yeah very cool tim of as i lay dying awaken is out now through metal blade records richard richard see you later